Um, and these are very important substances because I think it's an important point to make that you don't extract oils from metals and minerals and gemstones. You, you, you create oils from them. So what's happening really is your, your salts that you've created with the glass um, are reacting with the solvent that you add to them and they're catalyzing new compounds. Like the salts are having this catalytic effect on, let's say, the, the, the alcohol or acetone, let's say, from a metallic spirit. And all of these, the, these trace organic acids, volatile compounds that you get from, quote unquote, philosophically produced menstruum, and it changes their structure. You know, it starts to, they start to polymerize and start to bond together and form new compounds. And these new compounds are oily. Uh, and they're actually quite similar to plant essential oils. When you analyze them, you, you see things like hydrocarbons and alcohols and ketones and phenols. And these are all the chemicals that you find in like the essential oil of the plant. So really what's happening is the salt is, is reacting with the solvent that you've used, creating or catalyzing new organic oils. Uh, and so this is a very important point of this because really anybody can try it themselves, like a commercially produced um, spirit like acetone or alcohol. Um, they often don't work at all or they will work much, much slower uh, or the oils that they produce will be you know, less aromatic and flavorful, um, lighter in color. You can really see a big difference when you use commercial solvents compared to uh, philosophically produced solvents or menstrual.